is at Mocap Girl by Mocap Solutions. In this next video in our short series, we're going to be looking at one of the most mysterious, misidentified, and possibly misunderstood technologies used to capture movement, image-based capture. So what is image-based capture? Image-based capture, or IBC, is often known as FOCAP, meaning fake motion capture. The process uses 2D tracking from synchronized images to track the movement of people which means an optical system isn't required on set. Instead, multiple calibrated and locked off film cameras are used to track tracking bands on the actors. So when is image-based capture used? Traditional optical systems can be very expensive and difficult to take onto film sets. Where a CG character played by an actor is going to be composited into a real world environment or interact with another non-CG character. Using image-based capture offers the capability to capture the motion with a lot less technology and equipment for both the actor and on set, and still produce 3D data for post-production. IBC used to be more commonly used for background and crowd characters. However, as the algorithms used to calibrate the camera footage has improved, as well as the advantage of the technology being suitable for even the smallest film set, has seen more examples of the main CGI characters in films using the technology. So how do we know when image-based capture is being used? The main difference between IBC and motion capture is the suit. While both can appear similar, the black and white tracking bands are a big giveaway to IBC being used. More recently, the grey suit has also been covered with triangle tracking patterns, as well as QR codes being integrated into the marker set. So while very often these suits and setups are still referred to as motion capture technology, the next time you see an example, you will now know that it was in fact image-based capture and the difference between how it was captured on set. Join us next time in the last video in the short series to find out last but not least the difference between an active and an optical marker and as always stay tuned via MoCap Solutions.